Welcome to Minecraft. I've just gone out and based on Paul Soar's magnificent video talking about uh, the new world that he found and is going to be playing with, I have created Koi 961D, uh, a little world for myself, and I'm going to just kind of record a couple of my sessions here. Um, I've found the village, did that on my first day, had a really bad session with a uh, couple of creepers. I will tell you, this town is infested with creepers and spiders. I love spiders because I am a big fan of the fishing pole and the bow and arrow, but I hate creepers. I hate creepers. I hate creepers. And one almost got me the first day. I tend to stay out a little bit too late at night. The villagers are all very nice. I can't understand a word they're saying, but when I first got here, I kind of wish I'd been recording because the town mayor over here actually pointed me to three of the caves that they're having trouble with, and I had to start killing monsters immediately. So basically, I showed up in town. Uh, okay, there's someone, someone there already. This is probably not a dead end. It probably goes on somewhere. I'll have to dig down further and see what I can find there. But the um, blacksmith particularly was worried about this hole, and you can see the damage the monsters have been doing to the crops already. So I think there's going to be a lot of work here for me. There's trees nearby, a lot of water, there's a swamp just down the hill, no problem getting wool from sheep. I think you're going to start a sheep farm and maybe raise some wool, try to fit in in the village a little bit better. This was supposed to be all the way around a fence, but we had a, cre a creeper issue here last night. But I did find that this is a great spot to stand and hunt creeper because they come right up out of this valley. And believe it or not, they come in a single file. It's a, kind of a nice way to catch them. And as you can see from my inventory, I snagged myself a couple spiders last night. Um, and I've moved into this cottage here. Uh, these people didn't want me in their house. It's time for supper. Um, so I moved in here, set myself up a little shop. I've got some murder holes down below. They drop down in here, and I can get at them. Uh, I want to improve that, though. It's not very effective. It's not very effective. And then up here, I get a pretty good view of the surrounding terrain. I did ca uh, cannibalize a little bit of my own roof for uh, wood last night. That gray trail out there actually is one of their streets, and I'm thinking that, or that hill, would be a fantastic place to put a little keep. So I think this is just going to be my workshop for now. I'm going to set up in here, um, going to help them out with their cropping issues. They've got a lot of problems with their crops. And start putting up a, uh, a fence around the town to help them with some of their monster issues and uh, help protect the populace and myself. As you can see way out in the distance there, there is a very, very nice edge of a desert. So we've got desert biomes, uh, we've got pine trees, there's a swamp down here where I can get vines, and the land is so rich in sheep and cows and chickens. Starting a farm here is not going to be any problem at all. Uh, flat ground might be the only issue I'm looking at, but as I look at this down here, I could put in a paddock there for sheep and for cows, maybe throw in a couple of a small paddock for some pigs. I don't think it'd be any problem at all. And when the update comes where sheep regenerate their wool by eating grass, well, behold, grass. So, oh, and way off in the distance there, you can just start to see the edge of a field of pumpkins. So if I look at my inventory, I already have pumpkin seeds. It's day one. I mean, or it's, it's the beginning of day two. I already have pumpkin seeds. This is great. This is awesome. And as you can see, I did find five iron on the way here. Very happy about that. I've already got some bone, so maybe I'll find myself a dog. And not only do I have red mushrooms, I have brown mushrooms. I already got some seeds. Basically, all of this I grabbed on the way here yesterday. So when you get in the game, um, I'll put the seed into the comments. Find the sun. Get to the top of the first hill you can find so you can see the sun because you start down in the middle of the swamp. But head towards the sun, and you will, I mean, you know, head to the east, 
and you will start to see the edge of this town. And it's a fair sized town. So I'll be setting up here in this building as the sheriff until I can get some supplies to start putting together a castle for myself. And uh, that's the end of day one. When I figure out what this thing is named, if I can get any of these villagers to speak to me in anything resembling a language I'm used to, then uh, we'll put up a sign and I'll have a name for it. Cheers.